Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins, and welcome to Set 12. Now, since I've gotten the question before as to where you get Topsiders Honors from, Topsiders Honor from, the sword, you have to go to Ortantaig, and you have to basically just go through this main uh, tunnel area, go to the grave site, and click on the grave. Right. That gives you one of the awesomest swords in all of creation. Paragon Longsword, what's that? Oh, it's not bad. But, uh, Tom... Actually? Looks like it might actually be better than Topsider's Honor. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Wow. Well, and here I was thinking that it's still a good sword. And I have loud and noisy neighbors, of course. Anyway, that's how you get Topsider's Honor. Excellent sword. And I will see you again in just a moment. Hello everyone, and welcome back. And you may be wondering, what is Charlotte doing wearing these fancy duds? And you may be wondering, wow, where did that awesome sword come from? That sword is actually the Paragon sword that I was looking at before. But none of that actually has to do with why we're here, except for the fancy duds part. That's right, if you don the Legion of the Dead armor like so, and you click on this thing here, the Legion of the Dead relic, this should be easy enough. It will summon the Gang Shade. Now, since Charlotte does not wear a shield, I just put that on just in case. I'm gonna re-equip her with her dual weapons. And you may notice that she is now wearing two Long swords. That's right, as a master dual weapon expert. Or dual weapon master. She has the ability to wield two full length swords. So yeah. There. Completes that quest and they're glittering like you can loot them, but you can't. You can, however, loot the gang shade. Dead metal bucket. Okay. Anyway, remember to get back here. You have to go through the dead trenches and go through almost all of it, actually. But, uh, yeah, quick little battle there. Finishes off that little bit of a quest. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool armor besides. Anyway, I'm going to be right back again, and you're going. we're going to return to Charlotte being in her normal duds. So... See you in a, I'll see you in a second. And welcome back. As you may recall, this is uh, Filda. We ran into her son, Ruck, in uh, the Deep Roads. Unfortunately, it didn't end well. And yes, she is wearing a ridiculous helmet. So sue me. Anyway. You've returned. With all the excitement over the new king, I never expected you to remember my poor son. Did you learn anything about my Ruck? Hmm. I'm sorry. Ruck's dead. Oh, my poor boy. I, I guess I knew, but... I just wish I could have seen him one last time. Here, this is my husband's masterwork, the first shield he smithed. I don't have anyone to save it for anymore. Oh. I'd like you to have it, for what you risked to bring me this news. The alternative is telling her that her son is a lunatic, and we did promise, we did promise Ruck that we weren't going to tell her the truth of what happened. Anyway, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty damn eager to get out of this damn place. I'm ready to get back to camp. Have a good long rest after everything that's happened here. <laughs> Why not? Pardon? What? Oh, I'd give you a roll. Why not? Uh, a roll? Aye, uh, any time. Preferably in the dark. I suppose I should be flattered. I'm not sure I have the equipment for that, but sure, whatever gets you working. <laughs> um, we're going to pretend this conversation never happened. We're going to leave Orzammar. Yes. 
to the mountain pass. <sighs> Give me a moment. Is everything all right? Of course everything's all right. Yeah. Uh, just give me one sodding moment. By the stone. I feel like I'm about to fall off the world with all that sky up there. Well, take your time. I need you ready to fight. If I could fight Randar Volney second after downing 15 lichen ales in half an hour, <laughs> I'm not gonna be put off by a high sodding ceiling. Well, let's get moving. We're losing, what you call it, uh, daylight. <laughs> and he does approve plus two for that. So you do, you do in fact start off with a bit of a disadvantage with him. Depending on your choices here, but you can get it up in time, no problem. In fact, you can pretty much get his approval up within the first conversation, or so you have, upon leaving Orzammar. But yay, we're leaving Orzammar. We're not fully done there yet, but it's time for us to go. Like I said, head back to camp, get some nice rest. It will be well-deserved rest, I think. This is odd. Camp usually doesn't have a loading screen, does it? Hmm. Maybe it does. Seems a bit odd. Well, Ogren buddy, what's up? Come to talk to old Ogren, have you? Don't know why. Why are you almost taller than me? What's wrong, Ogren? Nothing. I'm fine. Just, uh, I got a hornet in my eye is all. I see. Did you want to talk about something? I'd like to know more about you. What about? Are you sure you're fine with what happened with Bronca? Oh, sure. I'm fine with it. I mean, she was a real firebrand between the sheets. But a bit soft in the skull, you know what I mean? Explains why she left, anyway. Is that so? <laughs> You're handling this well. Handling what? Bronca? Pfft. That treasure's been long buried. Hmm. Ancestors, take me. You people whine like tea kettles around here. But he does a proof plus four for that. Odd, though. I normally do get a particular cutscene. Well, either way, I did also want to come back to camp to collect Surat. Why? Yes. Oh, well, you'll see. Uh, let's take the healer yes. and the dog. And I will actually see you in a moment and did when you're being creepy. But anyway, I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back, folks. And, uh, well, traveling around off-screen, I happen to run into this extra little cutscene. So, let's take down some more Darkspawn, shall we? It's not really a cutscene, they're more just an encounter. Let's see if we can kill as many of these as possible, though. Even though I am in a slightly disfavored position because I have a dog with me. Damn it, Surat. You ruin everything. Go ahead and massive attack. 
attack me, I don't really care. Probably we still have a few of them alive, do we? on killing the mean ogre. Well, hello. Orzammar has heard your call. We march for Orzammar you. Orzammar has heard your call. We march for you. Orzammar has heard your call. We march for you, warden. Orzammar has heard your call. <sighs> right. Alrighty. Plenty to loot here. Acid flask, sure. Why not? Right. Anyway, I will again see you back in a moment. And welcome back to Surat being rather intimate with my backside. You are a bad puppy. Anyway, this is the reason why we have gathered Surat here. I'm going to do something. First of all, I had to go and get one of his gifts. Because it's special like that. Actually, I'm going to have him search for something. And anytime you want greater success in one of his searches, you give him a gift. It doesn't improve his affinity, but it improves his ability to find things. Hey, Sarah Puppy! Hey! Do you see anything interesting? Sarat appears to have found an old helmet that may have belonged to a Grey Warden, or one of the Legionnaires of the Dead. That's why I wanted to bring Puppy along. Because it is actually a pretty... Ah, yes, I believe this is the one. Yes. <laughs> Not much better than the one I'm wearing. And f well... Ah! Actually not bad at all. But this one's shinier. And it goes better with my armor. So there you go, folks. That's my sole reason for bringing Sarat along. As you go puppy, as you go puppy, yes you are. I'm going to put you. As you go puppy, yes. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to see you back in a Ah, right, I actually forgot something. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. But I actually want to go this way. Don't I? Is that not... Oh, somehow I started out behind the line to exit. Boy, I'm having a special day. Anyway, leaving directly from the deep roads, I'm going to... Well... Let's go to soldiers... Well, nah, 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 let's, let's go to the circle tower. Now, this is odd. What was that? What was that? What the hell? You're awake. Did you... Did you feel it too? It was like the Archdemon saw us. Saw us. What does that mean? I think... Wait. Did you hear that? This is one of the most awesome sequences in the game, and this is where you definitely want everyone in your party to be well equipped. This will also have much more significance to you if you happen to be a Dalish origin. 
But... My gosh. What was that? Um... Yeah, cutscene, you, you wanna end? You are, yeah. Maybe you're waiting for this to stop freezing. Wouldn't surprise me. Fun. I guess it's like That's Duncan once said. We can sense them, and they can sense us. We'd best be more careful from now on. This camp isn't safe any longer. <laughs> what will they send next? Darkspawn tax collectors? Fortification should be built around the camp. Yeah, I can't get a bloody night's rest. How unnerving. It will be more difficult to sleep here now. What, no trap? No ambush? <laughs> Some assassins. No kidding, right? That really was quite unnerving. Um, Alistair? Your desire is my command. I had another dream about the Archdemon. Yes, me too. And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think? I don't think so, no. I think you're probably right. You know how some people want to be right all the time? Me, not so much. I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is a blight. I don't want it to be official! Didn't we already know this fact? That's kind of odd, don't you think? You're a good puppy, Sherrod. Okay. <sighs> that was quite unnerving. Oh, and by the way... Oh, they're not going to be here right now, of course. Yeah, that cutscene is a lot more meaningful if you happen to be Dalish, because uh, it implies that Tamlin was with this group. Actually, he is outright. So yeah, let's go back to what we were doing. Yes. Indeed. What? No. Lost and damnation. Yes. yes. There we go. Indeed. We have business over by the Circle Tower. For a couple of different reasons, one of which is we have to speak with the First Enchanter about Dagna coming out this way. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was like, where did he go? Are you... Oh, for a second I thought he was standing on the wall. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the Circle is well on its way to recovery. Hmm. Dagna of Orzammar wishes to study magic. Ozama, indeed. <laughs> you have piqued my curiosity. It is common knowledge that dwarves lack the aptitude for spellcraft. She will never be able to weave the simplest magic, no matter how hard she tries. She is aware of this, but her interest has not waned. Fascinating. <laughs> I suppose the circle should be flattered. She is willing to give up caste and clan for this. I see. If she is willing to sacrifice so much for this, then we should feel honored. Tell Dagna of Orzimar that this path will not be easy. But if she chooses it, then she is welcome here at the Circle. She will Yay! live and study with the Tranquil, and perhaps the apprentices, when it is appropriate. I shall return to Orzammar with this news, then. Ah, if only the circle was in better shape. I fear she may be disappointed when she arrives. I don't think so. I think she'll be very interested in what happened. This will be interesting. <laughs> she could tell us much about our dwarven neighbors. Yes. The more I think about it, the more I like the idea. As opposed I shall to despise take it. this as an indication that 
Perhaps things are starting to look up for the circle. <laughs> Thank you. Forgive me, but I must take my leave. I wish you well. No, you will always be welcome here. You take forever to end a sentence. God! But we have one more other purpose for being here. I don't know if I have the strength for another big battle. Huh? The Grey Warden saved us. Fighting the Blight is the least we can do. True. The Circle has always played a part in defeating the Blights. This is our chance to show that we will fight and die for our home, just like any other Ferelden. <laughs> and then he goes to stare at me. Um, yeah. You've got to clean up your house first. Maybe you don't have time. Yay, a bunch of kids and random people standing about. Come on, you've rested enough. We need what? to get these out of the tower before they get pregnant. It's abomination. It's wrong. Why do we have to take them across the lake to burn? The lake's right there. Um, you probably don't want to do that, dude. I see that the bones of the bear thing that I killed are still there as well. Hey, Cullen! I wish I could have gone with them. To fight. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you to your trauma. I'm sorry, buddy. There really is nothing I can do about that. We are here because I believe there's someone on this floor whom we are interested in speaking to. Not here. Ah, oh, but in here. Hey, it's Godwin! The end of all arguments ever. Oh, it's you! You saved the circle. I'd kiss your feet if you didn't look as though you'd kill me if I did that. You'll settle for a handshake, won't you? Maybe a kiss on the forehead, eh? Handshake, yes. Kiss, no. <laughs> I suppose we feel the same way then. Might not seem like much coming from me, but I appreciate what you've done for us. Aw, oh, very nice. But that's not why oh, I'm hello here. again. Would you like me to tell you again how wonderful you are? Or maybe you'd just like to talk a little? I could stand to hear a little bit how wonderful I am now. Your name is Godwin? I met a dwarf who mentioned you. Rogek? Well, he's a personal friend, and sometimes we, uh, you know, correspond. Did he, uh, have anything for me? Yes, he said you'd be waiting for this lyrium. Yes, yes, I'll take it off your hands right now. Really? Ah, uh, what about 50 sovereigns? That's a good price, no? It wasn't easy getting here. Seventy-five. After all, we're a shrewd business person, and we need money for the troops. Look, I have sixty-five sovereigns and this dagger I stumbled upon in the tower. Will that do? Very nice. Here's your lyrium. Done and done. You have your gold, and I have my lyrium. Everyone's happy. It's Out quite a bit of curiosity. Sense. Do you know why this lyrium took so long to get here? Ozma's gates were closed because of political unrest. Dwarves and their politics. Always causing trouble. Amen. How is the situation now? <laughs> Why don't you go to Orzammar and find out for yourself? Um, they have a new king. Ah, I see. Well, I just wanted to know if I should expect another late delivery. Why do you need all this lyrium? Well, uh, mages need lyrium for spells and things. Nothing you'd know about. But I'm curious, and I saved you. I suppose you did at that. Well, yes, but you see, uh, the Templars use lyrium too. They cannot manipulate natural energies like mages can, but they need to be able to fight us. The big problem with lyrium is that it has diminishing returns, and the Templars become dependent on it. You're... you're taking advantage of the Templars, encouraging them, 
and for money, you despicable profiteering crook! If it wasn't me and Rogek, someone else would do it. How do you keep this operation hidden? Those that know what I do have good reason not to get me in trouble. Huh. Gregor is going to find out about this. You can't do that. Gregor doesn't have time for trivialities. He's a busy man. Very busy. It's hardly a triviality. Oh, you'll do what you'll do, won't you? So just leave me alone. Did he just climb back in... He just climbed back in the closet. He just climbed back in the closet because he was upset with me. Sure. Anyway. I may not always be keen on the Templars, but I don't agree with that kind of abuse. We should let Gregor know. If I recall, this game actually does not let you tattle on Godwin. I'm hoping to change that. I hope, I'm hoping that changed with some of the mods that I've got in place. Oh, God damn it, when? Books block me less than you do. They should really get that cleaned up. Oh, right, uh, blight looming and all. Hey, uh, Gregor? My men have scouted the tower. It's a mess, but the abominations are gone. You are very thorough. I'm impressed. I'm quite impressive, yes. No. The circle will be back to normal in no time. In no time? Hmm. Doubtful. But it doesn't hurt to be optimistic sometimes. So I what? shan't keep you then. I can't Farewell. report this guy. Can I report him to you? Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn. Okay. So on that note, I'm going to call this an installment where we wrapped up all of these little different side quests, and I will see you next time, where we proceed in earnest. Hope to see you then, folks.